Sorry, mate, I didn't see you. Those words are often heard after a driver has pulled out in front of another road user. In most cases, the driver will have looked, but was fooled into thinking the road was clear because of the way our eyes and brain see things when we turn our heads. As we move our heads from side to side, our eyes send snapshots to our brain at intervals, in much the same way as a video camera records frames. Our brain then merges the snapshots, called fixations, into what we think is a continuous sweep. But that is an illusion. Between the fixations, there are blind spots, called saccades. If another road user happens to fall within one of these blind spots, they will not be seen. This is known as saccadic masking. The faster we move our heads, the shorter the fixations and the longer the saccades will be. So the risk of not seeing another road user increases, especially if they're a cyclist, motorcyclist or pedestrian. To overcome this, drivers need to adopt a different approach when checking if the road is clear. Instead of continuous head movement, a driver should pause for a fraction of a second to focus on at least three points when looking to the left and right to check close, middle and long distance. With practice, this can be achieved quickly and will overcome the normal limitations of the eyes and brain. It's also advisable to look to the left and right at least twice. If everyone put this simple advice into practice, up to a quarter of all road accidents could be avoided. This would be a major boost for road safety.